A lot of people ask me whether they need an air cooler or a liquid cooler or what specific cooler they should get, but it actually depends what parts you've got. So I'm going to go over a few different kinds of coolers and what you need depending on the parts in your PC. First up, we've got the stock standard cooler. Now this one's an AMD. Intel also makes something very similar. Now this is a great way of saving some money on your new PC, but the easy way to tell if this cooler is enough for your PC is if your processor came with one. If it didn't, you need to get an aftermarket cooler. This is a liquid cooler and this is an air cooler. And the reason I show you both at once is because there's a bit of a misconception that the liquid coolers always beat the air coolers and it's definitely not the case. This liquid cooler and this air cooler are going to perform about the same and they're going to cost around about the same amount of money and it's just down to your personal preference whether you prefer the look of this or this inside your case and if you don't like the idea of having liquid inside your PC just get the air cooler. And lastly if you need extra cooling performance in your PC you can either go for a very high-end air cooler from a brand like Noctua or brands like Corsair and NZXT are now making liquid coolers with LCD screens on them and it's a nice extra feature if you want to show your CPU and GPU temperatures or show some gifts. 